I mean, what are the chances on you being downstairs today of all days? <laughs> just when I needed someone with your skills. A big cock, just what the apothecary ordered. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> it's just I know my next client too tight and they get stunned too quick and the longer it takes, the more he pays. <laughs> I get a good sized rod in there beforehand to loosen me up. It takes a little longer for the actual client to splash the pit and I'll make a few extra pennies. <laughs> Got myself a little hourglass so I know just how much to charge. I told down the preparation. Normally I'd have Bad Larry in first for a ride, this being his usual haunt. He's got a good sized shaft, knows what needs to be done. The women folk around here go crazy for it. But occasionally he likes the odd bit of rough. Don't mind helping out a mate if there's a few extra pennies in it. And gets in, gets the job done, no fuss. <laughs> but he's gone to ground at present, and I can't start asking anyone to stretch me out, what would be improper. <laughs> <laughs> so, what with Bad Larry not being around, there was no one else to ask. If I'd known you were back in the city, I would have come to you right away. Most around here are pox to a country road or dead from the plague. Oh, you don't worry about me, I'm careful. I'll keep yourself clean. So, what brings you back to Deptford anyway? <laughs> oh, business, dear boy. I'm a little early. Business, eh? That's a bit fancy. <laughs> Are you still living around here? Where else would I go? You might have travelled. The world is larger than Deptford and London. Travelling costs money. Besides, I like it here. Most people are friendly. Got myself permanent lodgings as well, not far, so real convenient. But you don't conduct your business there? Not if I can help it. Don't like mixing business with pleasure. <coughs> You're a regular entrepreneur. <laughs> if that means I'm good with an hourglass, then yes. <laughs> See, always thinking. But as I said, bad Larry weren't around, and this client's an important regular. Odd name, that. What? Bad Larry. How'd he get it? No idea. Not the sort you ask too many questions. He buggers a sweat off your back and you're reluctant to ask how we got his name. We got a professional arrangement. And just for future reference, it's belly sweats, my preferred position. Hate looking at the faces they pull anyway when they're ploughing you. <laughs> <laughs> really let their guard down when they dump the spit. <laughs> you sure you don't mind doing this? There are, there are worse things. <laughs> and at least you've bathed. I pay extra for that and all. Me regulars, I mean. Can you smell it? I'd rather not. Go on, have a whiff. What is that? Lavender? <laughs> Shove a few ground petals up the gash. Clients really appreciate it. <laughs> I've oh, nothing to add to that. <laughs> Uh, interesting fashion decision you've made there. What, this? Uh, hey, thought it might be a bit much, but the punters seem to like it. Adds a bit of class, don't you think? Pour it on the cart and thought, that'll do me, thank you very much. Cart? Plague cart, parked near me digs. <laughs> Just happened to be walking past and saw it. Plague cart? You pulled that off a dead man? Well, I washed it first, I'm not a fucking animal. <laughs> it's not like he was going to ask for it back. You astound me. How about we stop talking for a while? Of course. Oh, thank you again for doing this, Thomas. You're a good man. I could have asked a friend, but I don't have any. Not for this sort of thing, anyways. And it's not like you were doing anything important. I wouldn't say that. Now be quiet. Right you are, then. Mum is the word. That's an odd expression, ain't it? Mum is the word. I wonder where it came from. Ned! Of course. Nice table, this. Oh, yes. Sturdy. Solid. Good craftsmanship. Maker must have took a bit of pride in his work. Unusual to have a table like it in this shit hole. How much would you say a table like this costs? How would I know? Well, you must have visited lots of places since we last saw each other. I thought you might have an idea. I don't take much notice of the furnishings in lodging houses. Not my area of expertise, I'm afraid. What about you been around? Travelled? Yeah, how would you know? Well, you ain't been in Deptford for a while, and any place that ain't Deptford is somewhere else, and that's travelling. I hardly get over the river these days. Shh! Oh, sorry. <coughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh, you are a good man, Thomas, you know that. <laughs> so you've said. Did I? Mine's all over the place, just up my ass. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> you had this room the whole night? For a few hours, yeah. Got an arrangement with Mrs. Ball. Who? Innkeeper. Of course, she's not fully aware of the arrangement, but she ain't a fool. <laughs> as long as she gets her cup, she don't say much. How considerate. To be honest, there's not many people that would help a fella out like this. I could name a dozen priests who'd accept that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't be enjoying it. Well, there's worse things I could be doing. I thought you'd have given this stuff up by now. And do what? I've still got me looks. <laughs> Okay, they're a bit scrappy around the edges, but I scrape by. You have many regulars. Maybe two or three a week, I'll get by. Not like the old days, though. And of course, if there's plays on at the theatres or Drake has a boat coming, I can make a killing. Go from one client to the next, still dripping. <laughs> I'll leave that off your bill of fare. Oh. <laughs> you were too fussy, that were always your problem. I guess you must be happy. How so? I'm well, not doing this sort of work anymore. I do all right. Oh yeah, at what? You were a bit circumcised downstairs. Circumspect. The word is circumspect. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Oh yeah, in fact. So what are you doing these days? Oh, this and that. This? Oh, no, but plenty of that. <laughs> you always were a funny bugger. Just like old times, ain't it? Well, not exactly like old times. No, I don't remember you or I doing anything like this when we were young. Well, except for... No, that's right. Happened a little later, didn't it? I seem to remember. Let's not make it more than it was. A drunken fumble. It was only the once. And I think we agreed not to talk about it. You agreed. Pity. Still, what a pair, you and me. Good times. Good times? Are you addled? Filthy lodgings, always hungry, selling the tanning yards, everyone stinking of the pit. Not to mention you might get stabbed by a customer. Oh, one way or another. Good awful days. Uh, you may be right. My memory's pretty in and out. Ned, I don't suppose you know if anyone's occupying the room next door. Have it a clue, why? No reason. Are you almost done? I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who is this person anyways? Client, is it? Client, yeah. Kit something or other. Have it a clue. Only told me the once, but I was in no position to hear him. Too many people around? No, I had my knees covering my ears. Thought it rude to ask again. <laughs> You're an odd little fella, Ned. <laughs> so I've been told. Besides, so got to protect his an animosity. Anonymity? Yeah, right. <laughs> Very secretive he is. And posh as fuck. Come from up Cambridge way or somewhere like that, you know? Likes using lots of big words and talking a lot, but don't actually say much I can understand. Makes me giddy sometimes. Must be educated. Some of the things he says gets real worked up too, you know, how he hates God, that sort of thing. Don't have much time for the clergy either, from what I can gather. Clergy? Calls them fucking hypocrites. Being a Christian, I suppose I should be offended and say something, but who am I? Church don't pay me lodgings. He's probably right, but I wouldn't be mouthing off too loud if there's spies all round. Wrong ears listening, you might get your head locked. I think he's well known. Writer or poet or something. Seen him hanging around those nonces outside the Rose Theatre once. People were bowing to him and everything. I were in the laneway across from him, gobbling another client, so I didn't say enough in the course. I'm glad you didn't break your stride. <laughs> <laughs> well known, you say? Uh huh. Why are you asking about him? You think you know him or something? Just curious. Are you almost done? No. I think that should do it. How much, Tim? You want me to finish you off or part of the service? No, I'm all right. Don't say I did not offer. I dare say the conversation won't come up. <laughs> Rag? Oh, sorry, your lordship. Where are my manners? Shall I be mother? <laughs> oh, I well, thank you, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do the trick nicely. <laughs> what? That's what he says. Who says? Me gentleman. That'll do the trick nicely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you want something to drink? I can call downstairs for some ale, won't be any trouble. Of course you'll have to pay for it. I'm a little shy on a penny at present, but I can pay you back later tonight. Of course we shall have to be quick. You haven't changed a bit? Nothing for me, thanks. Oh, don't say I didn't ask. Nev, 
I hope you'll take this as good advice from a friend. But do you not think it time you gave up this occupation? Well, that was quick. Was I that bad? What? No, of course not. Because I usually don't get insulted straight after getting pumped. I meant no insult. I just think there must be something better you could be doing instead of this. Whore ring, you mean? What's wrong with it? It's easy money when there's money about it. And I seem to remember there was a time when you enjoyed it as well. Not so much as you think. You need something solid behind you. Well, that's what I have bad Larry for, but he's fucked off. I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. You need to take care of yourself. This thing you do is very dangerous. You've been lucky up until now, but that luck may one day wear out. And what would you have me do? In case you haven't noticed, I ain't exactly cut out for much else. I'm not sure. Oh, I see, so... Let me see if I've got this right in my head. What with me being adult, you know, I might have missed something. You're getting angry with me. Oh, that you noticed. Perhaps we should have this discussion another time. Next time you're in town, I won't hold my breath. You may not believe me, Ned, but I do care about you. Well, that's come from nowhere. Really, now you care about me. Can you think otherwise? Going on what, a quick pump? What, I ain't seen you in years, then out of the mist, you wander into Mrs. Bulls with your fancy clothes and ways. Service my arse, it's a good to see you again, favour. Then after said pumping, you think you're qualified to give career advice? What's next? Gonna fuck off back into the mist? I'm sorry if I've upset you. Don't worry, you're ready, you won't upset me. No. You know, before you disappeared, I thought we had a good thing. I thought we were friends. We were. I hope we still can be. I've known you since we were little ones. We were like brothers. Did everything together. Confided in each other. I got your back. You got mine. Brothers. Except for that one time we were a little drunk and had no wood for the fire. But you don't want to be reminded of that. Oh, no. Next thing I know, you disappear. No warning. No messages. Nothing. I thought you dead. Our heart broken. I expected maybe one day I'd see them dragging your rotted, bloated corpse out of the river. Or maybe with all my free travelling time I could have headed north of town and seen your red on a spike up at Stonegate. Two years later you're swooping like some fucking tower raven all full of yourself like nothing's happened and the best you can come up with is I think you need a new career. One day I might offer you an explanation. Two years ago would have been better! Don't do me no more favours. God only knows why I even had any feelings for you at all. I am sorry. I had no idea you felt that way. What way? Like a friend? Well, you always were a bit of a horse's ass. In spite of what you think, I do care about you, Ned. Really? You care about me? Can you think otherwise? Going on what? A brief chat and a quick pump? Now you better clear off. I have to get back to what I know I'm good at. Throwing my orchards up and taking a rod. I could come back later tonight. Share a jug of ale. Suit yourself. I'll try to be here, of course, but I could be busy lying in the ditch. You'll just have to take your chances. Pardon, I beg you. Ned. Right you are. Uh, I uh, haven't interrupted anything, have I? It's just that I thought that we had an arrangement. I may be confused. If you're busy... Not at all. You're right on time. And my friends were just leaving. Yes, I could come back later. Nonsense. Always at your service. I oh, know my priorities. It's very good. Now, isn't it time you fucked off? Thank you very much for visiting me. Most appreciate it. Off you go. The mist awaits. Of course. Uh, was that gentleman another client? Just an old acquaintance. Oh. <laughs> Am I early? I wasn't sure. Well, no problem. That's what you pay me for, ain't it? Uh. You are well? You look a little... I am... Um, Somewhat out of sorts. <laughs> Perhaps this weather has affected me. I, I shall be fine. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? The well, same thing we always do. Oh. <laughs> well, perhaps we might wait. Wait? <laughs> for what? I'm primed for you. Oh, I do appreciate the preparation. I, I think it best if we put off our usual activities. You know, for the moment, if you don't mind. <laughs> Well, I could get you some ale. Might relax ya. Tonight I need my wits more than ale and pleasure. Uh, perhaps we could just, um, talk. <laughs> talk? Oh, lucky me. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I will still pay you for your time. You, uh, brought your little hourglass, I presume? 
Don't know what you're talking about. Yes, of course. Ah, oh, you are looking well. <laughs> you don't have to flatter me to bugger me. <laughs> I like you enough not to flatter you with false praise. Or buggery. I, uh, I also like this. It, it's, um, very distinguished, mm -hmm. yeah? You're not expecting any other visitors this evening? None worth mentioning. Oh, good. So we're really not doing anything? Well, I thought you liked it. I did. Uh, do. But uh, I had hoped that uh, you'd enjoyed my company as well, Ned. Well, you're a regular, aren't you? Of course I enjoy it. That's very well. <laughs> do, do you enjoy it? How long have we known each other? Yes, five months? I should say so. Have I ever treated you with anything less than respect? Oh, no. And I have always been honest with you. There would be nothing gained in deceiving you. Is, is that not so? I don't know anything about you, really. Are you a writer or something? Oh. <laughs> I am many things. Yes, and in spite of what some may have you believe, there are many things that I am not. I am quite fond of you, you know that. You're not just some transaction. Well, I think that you are a good and gentle soul. Though, you are also an odd little fellow, you know that. <laughs> you ain't the first to tell me about your lordship. <laughs> now, you've called me that before, you know. Lordship. Yes, I'm, I'm not lord. Oh, well, I thought you were. <laughs> Whatever made you think that? Well, you talk posh, mm. you dress well, you got money and education, if I don't make you a lord. There is many a lord with little to no funds or education and money. It isn't everything. Oh, that's easy for you to say. <coughs> so you're not a nobleman or anything like that? Oh, I am sorry to disappoint you. Tell me, Ned, have you any funds put aside? You don't expect me to pay you, do you? <laughs> no, of course not. No, I have often wondered, have you ever wanted to be doing something else? Something else? Some other line of work. Surely, surely you don't see yourself doing this sort of thing forever. Bloody hell, I must be bad. Seems everyone's given career advice. <laughs> <laughs> it is good advice. Is there anything else you'd like to be? Such as? Oh, I... I should like to be a bird. <laughs> <laughs> a bird? Styling, to be specific. Now, I was thinking of occupation, but uh, we will go with that for now. <laughs> why a styling? Well, why not? Come sunset around here, the skies are full of them. Thousands sometimes. An enormous dark cloud weaving and darting back and forth like some huge ball. What view they must have. Above all the filth and shit of this city. Of course sometimes you might find a dead one laying on the cobbles, but oh, when they saw. To be able to go anywhere you like. To be free. What an escape. Well, except from hawks and kestrels. Well, yeah, apart from them. Ned. What? Oh, sorry. Is there anything more, um, well, practical? Mm. No, nothing. <sighs> Although. Yes. Well, if I had to think about it, I should like to be a farmer. Farmer? It's a good occupation. No, but what about farming? Well, I could learn. Well, farms require land, purchasing land. It requires funds. Is there any you can put your hands on? Doing this? You must be kidding. But one of me regulars did say give me some money one day. <laughs> when his wife dropped dead. Mm. Almost makes it worthwhile slobbering over his pistol. Yes. 
Slobbering over his pistol. I, I was not aware you'd added that to your bill of fare. I don't just do that for anyone, I tell you now. Mm. Sometimes the smell it, gag a duck. <laughs> <laughs> but the money's the money, right. No, 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 say no more. <laughs> really. <laughs> and he will give you the funds. You have this in writing. I'll trust him. He must really like you. Well, better than his wife, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> or I could, I could be a, a tenant farmer, I've heard that's a thing. It is, but then you'd be working for someone else. Oh, I don't think I'd like that. Yes, well, that is what it means. You know, you work someone else's plot, they let you stay. Of course, they could kick you out for any number of reasons, with little or no notice. Well, not if I work hard. As I am sure you would, but the promises of landlords are a leaky boat on dangerous tides. This conversation's making me low. Of course. Ned, I need to tell you something. Yeah? I might have to go away for a while. What? Yes. Quite soon, in fact. And that being said, I may not see you again. Oh. It would appear that my past has very much caught up with me. <laughs> I've made quite a few enemies over the years, both judicial and ecclesiastical, and I, I have knowledge of certain parties who see my continued existence as an inconvenience, would wish me harm. You know, as it is, I'm currently having to report daily to the bailiff whilst the court is in recess or face imprisonment. Yes, it might be best if I lay low for a little while. I am... Sorry to burden you with this knowledge. I have so few to confide in. But I... I think you are a... true and honest man. I, I do not believe that you would knowingly betray me. Oh, where will you go? Oh, well, I, I have like-minded friends up north who have offered me shelter for a time, and then we shall see. I may make my way to the continent. I have acquaintances in Holland that would give me sanctuary without question. <laughs> oh, God will protect you. <laughs> now, I am certain. Whatever being or beings look over us, I, I have already offended and would have their agents just planted to crush me. <laughs> oh. Yes, I hope that you will not miss me too much. Oh, I could come with you. Come with me? Well, why not? I'm good company, aren't I? Well, you are the best I could hope for, under the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Do not think that I base this assessment only on the nature of our relationship, but if my instincts are correct, my situation has become dangerous. I could not live with myself if you came to harm because of me. We have a relationship. Oh, you are missing the point. <laughs> so that's a no. You are a good man, Ned. Perhaps. Yeah? If I could find you the funds to get your farm, what say you to that? What? You would not need then to rely on anyone else. You would give me money to, to buy a farm? Yes. You could then be your own man. My own man? Well, I ain't of that already. Oh, without a doubt. Didn't think I looked that much in need of charity. <laughs> this is no charity, Ned. I, I like you. In the brief time that we have known each other, I have grown most fond of you. But you still don't want to pump me, right? Oh. Well, uh, not at this precise moment, no. And you're fond of me. Can you think otherwise? <laughs> what are you doing? I've overstepped. Um, 
Uh, uh, forgive me, the moment took me. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I I'm sorry, I, I can assure you, I don't usually go around kissing men. Well, don't be sorry, just give a fellow a bit of warning next time. I had a pickled egg early on. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I detect a hint of lavender as well. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. I thought you were trying to eat my face. Oh, eat your face. People don't usually run around kissing other people. Well, Real life ain't like all that lovey-dovey poetry. Yes, and of course you know this. Yes, you've never been kissed before. Does a man ask that of another man? A man can ask as much of any man if he sees the true substance of his own heart and knows that his love is returned. Are you reading that or something? <laughs> Did you write that? No. You just heard me say it. But I do write many things. Well, all that kissing stuff, not usually part of the arrangement between gentlemen. Unless it be for marriage. Love has no arrangement. Who's talking about love? I was. <laughs> well, if nothing else, if, but to pass the time between friends, then then let us have that conversation, eh? Oh, one gentleman to another, as it were. Thought you were in a hurry to get away. Ah, uh, it might be best if I stay off the streets tonight. So, tell me, friend, have you ever loved someone? Perhaps, perhaps before you took up your current profession. A, a sweetheart, perhaps. Sweetheart? Oh, very well, very well. Uh, what about your mother? They say, a mother's love is everlasting. They say that. Don't make it true. My mother was an absolute cow. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I saw her, she was on the back of a car on the way up to Newgate Cemetery. She didn't have much time to talk about love. Don't get me wrong. I've had me moments. Maybe not so much lately, but... Well, look around. Between you, me, and the privy down the hall, the walls aren't exactly dripping with love, are they? Yes, on that, we are agreed. Yeah, I also underestimated you. It would appear that you have a rare talent for just altering the mood of the moment. Well, I do that sometimes. <laughs> Is that what you write about? Love and stuff. Come and live with me and be my love. And we will all the pleasures prove that valleys, groves, hills and fields, woods or steepy mountain yields. And there I will make thee beds of roses and a thousand fragrant posies. And if these pleasures do the moon, come live with me and be my love. Roger me rotten. <laughs> <laughs> the women must love you. I didn't think people talked like that. Oh, well, perhaps not so much in Deptford. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the sort of stuff you write. If the mood takes me. You know, oft times it is a much darker material. Oh, next time read me something like that. Like me a bit of good old fashioned blood and guts, I do. <laughs> Do you ever go to the theatre? Me? God, no. Stumbled in only the one, some shaky spear shit. Oh. <laughs> All those nonsense stand around in silly big clothes talking shit about their feelings. Who's got time for that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should have liked to have taken you to see some of my work. You might have been surprised. You would have me be amongst your friends? You wouldn't be embarrassed to be seen with me? I should be proud to stand with you. You must really hate your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing. 
when you leave, you'll take me? Where? Or when you go up north? I do not think that it would be a good idea. It would be too dangerous. Well, I can take care of myself. Yeah, I have no doubt. Well, think of all the japes and the off I have. should be happier if you were to be a farmer. Just let me do this for you. What are you doing, Becky? You should leave. Ned? It's all right. Here we're just going. I thought we could have that drink now, if you're not busy. If I'm not busy, it's not the best time. Nonsense. The more the merrier, as they say. No, I don't think you want That's to. That's all right, right Ned. <laughs> yes, I shall be fine. Now... Go, go and fetch us some ale. Your friend, he seems part from waiting so long, it would be rude to deny him. I'm sure we can find something to talk about while you're gone. Now, get out your little hourglass. Come back in, say, um, ten minutes. Yes, that should do the trick nicely. But, but this is far too much. It's all right. I trust you. Very well. It is a beautiful evening. You are well. Well enough. Oh. You'll forgive me for the interruption. I am no master of another man's time. It is what it is. Apart from the coin, I can see why it favours your company. In this light, you have quite a handsome countenance. <laughs> I was not expecting that. An odd time to flatter me, don't you think? You'll be batting your eyelashes at me soon. Let's not read too much into it. The light flatters you. <laughs> <laughs> Though. In another time, under different circumstances, who knows what might have transpired. It almost gives me pause to the task at hand. But this is business. Oh. I see. You must forgive me. It must have been vexing trying to locate me. I'll say you. Well, it's been surprisingly challenging. Huh. You're a hard man to keep up with. You do tend to flit about London like a rat. <laughs> well, for some reason, I thought you'd be taller. Men of talent rarely are. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't inconvenienced you. It's no matter now. Yes, I almost nabbed you two days ago outside the bailiffs. But in broad daylight, there'll be too many witnesses about. Never enough dark alleys about when one needs them. Quiet. I thought you might have recognised me earlier. Did think you looked familiar, but I, I could not place you. To be honest, I'd almost given up hope by seeing you again. Then I heard your play was back on. On the off chance you might show your face, I decided to attend. I know how you wordsmiths love to hear the sound of your own voices. Dr. Faustus. How apt. A man who sells his soul to the devil. Well, at least you know of my work. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you have to sell to bring you into the fold? And those that paid your fee, I am assuming it was the church. It's always the church. Do you really think that they believe in heaven or hell? It matters not to me. We all go into the dirt. They've paid me. I have a job. Did you enjoy it? The play. What I saw of it. Sadly, I had to leave halfway. A colleague mentioned you sometimes end up here, so couldn't wait for the end, I'm afraid. I could get you tickets to another performance to see how it plays out. I suspect we both know how this will play out. Perhaps you are too prone to distraction for your line of work. Are you sure you are up to the task at hand? 
I can assure you I am quite up to it. You seem most confident. Despite appearances, I should tell you I am quite skilled. Perhaps I might foil your endeavours. I think not. What of our friend? What about him? He will be back soon. Judging by the look on his face earlier, he seemed most familiar with you. We have a history he refuses to lay to rest. They are ghosts of another time. I'm now of a different temperament, that is all. Of course, this evening's earlier proceedings were a little unexpected, arousing some confusion, but in the long run proved most <laughs> advantageous. I have no knowledge of what transpired earlier, so I will just have to take your word for it. And he knows not the true nature of your work and character. I doubt it. Out of necessity, I severed our friendship some time ago. So you have a, no feelings for him. And I say this, having seen the hearts of you, men. You cannot read me. I'm not one of your plays. Believe me, I see you as a mirror sees itself. You would not be out of place in my work. I think you still have some affection for him. I am sorry for keeping you from your task. One question more, if you would indulge me. What? Did you love him? I am sorry. It would appear that we both have strong feelings for him. Yet. Only one of us would allow him to come to harm. You know they will blame him for everything that happens here tonight. Some things are inevitable. And you are willing to sacrifice him to the dog. You delay! You will not sway me from the deed at hand. Just as this conversation was becoming interesting. I should tell you. I have read some of your work. And I've nothing but enormous respect for your talent. I would not have you depart this orb without knowing how much it saddens me. I am sorry for this. As am I. Our oh, friend. Yes. Do not hurt him. Why? Why what? You used me? To be fair, we used each other tonight. But it's not the same thing! Why? Why would you do that? He was my friend. He wasn't your friend! A man like that couldn't be your friend! He didn't care about you. You were just another gullible molly. What kind of friend pays someone to do what he does to you? No, he wasn't like that. He, he was going to take care of me. He, he was going to buy me a farm. Farm? Why would he buy you a farm? Because he liked me. And we, and we were going to travel together. 
He was going to take me to Holland and places like that. Holland? He wasn't going to take you anywhere. He was being constantly watched. I'm sorry you had feelings for him, but you knew nothing about him. You said so yourself. Others knew him differently. There are higher forces in this world than you or I. From what I understand, on his word alone, he sent many a good man to their death. He was a traitor, a heretic, and by all accounts, a spy. He was due to stand trial soon and then be burnt at the stake or have his head taken. Those that paid me wanted him dispatched quicker, that is all. Someone paid you to do this? This is just business. So you've done this before? How do you think I survived the past two years? How many have you killed? I don't know. How many? 19, 20, something like that. <sighs> My head is reeling. I think I should be ill. If what you say is true and I still do not believe it, then you are no better than him. This is me as I am now. You wonder why I left so suddenly? Because of you. I had accidentally and drunkenly killed a man. That man had friends who let it clearly be known that they would harm me and all those I held close. I was protecting you. I could take care of myself. How? You are not strong. You think yourself clever, but you lack the wiles of self-preservation. I did you a favor. Favor? Don't talk like that. You never talked like that before. You forget I know you. You knew me. That was the past. That man no longer exists. I will vex you no more. You should leave. Leave? Why would I leave? You cannot stay. If they find you here with him, you will be held accountable. Without funds, class or standing, you will have no protection. No, I cannot leave my friend. He's dead. What good can come of that now? Do you understand what I'm saying? Your fate will no longer be your own. Ned, I beg you. I do not wish you to go the way of your friend, Bad Larry. Bad Larry? Have you, have you seen him? He lies not far from here. My God! Ned, please. I cannot leave him! Embrace me and we'll say farewell. You don't want to? There was a time when... No! You to... Come here! I want you to kiss me. No. I'll embrace you and we'll part ways. <laughs> No, you don't believe me, but I think you've got a beautiful heart. But you grow attached too quickly. People have always been unkind to you. They spit on you, they take advantage. But you always see the good in spite of everything. And that will be your downfall. I'm not like you. To me, the world is ugly. All I see is cruelty, filth and hate. So much unkindness. <laughs> you kill people for a living. Yes. It's quite the dilemma. <laughs> oh. 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 Close your eyes, my love. <laughs> now we are one again. <laughs> Once more I'll hold you in my arms and <laughs> remember us as we were.
Huh? <laughs> 